Okay, it's uh, 5.33 and I'd like to call the uh, September 28th meeting of the Capital Planning Committee meeting to order. The first item of business is the uh, voting on the acceptance of the minutes. Did everyone get a copy of the minutes? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, any motion? Okay. And a second. Second, any discussion? No. I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay. Minutes are approved. Well, thank you very much for taking those, Amy. How about for this meeting? Amy took no. care of me today, too. Yeah, I printed them. I saw them. <laughs> On bank paper, too, and all that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, I did say that. <laughs> And who will be recording the minutes for tonight's meeting? I think she will do nicely. I, I don't mind doing it again. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. This is not what I. I think. Uh, the votes on the night on tonight's are um, to just, have are, are important because these are the ones that go in. When these we, are the votes. The yeah, these are these are the votes for when we do the borrowing. Okay. Okay, I think uh, the best way to start is to turn it over to Linda and have you go over the updated. Uh, capital plans and the specific projects okay, as I'll, you have revised them. Okay. Um, I, I, uh, I, I don't remember whether we put, I had it in the list order before, but I did change the list somewhat so that we'd have like things together. Everything borrowing within the levy is the top. Uh, borrowing for, um, to be repaid out of water reserves comes next, then sewer reserves, and then Hadley Media Reserves. Um, the uh, last time there were quite a number of requests. Um, we knew they were excess because the uh, committee decided not to do borrowing with uh, debt exclusion. And so uh, Chris, as uh, Okafer, who is here tonight, um, as part of uh, trying to work this through, he um, worked the talk, you know, talking with the committee about what was most important for him and then uh, some discussions afterwards he has dropped if it, if the part that are in dark gray, which um, uh, is the uh, uh, the replacement gas pumps. That's being repl that's being dropped. Although he may be discussing this evening the option of uh, uh, putting in a figure for decommissioning. Uh, the North Hadley culvert will wait. Uh, uh, the police cruiser, um, on the assumption of going forward, and I hope I didn't make an over assumption on the, but uh, it has gone into the budget portion of the, lease option. of the, um, yes, of the warrant to increase his budget by 7,500 to cover at least year one. Um, and then uh, similarly, the last one, which was $50,000 for ditch maintenance has been removed. And also on the warrant of uh, the highway budget has been increased by the 20,000 to accommodate that. Um, thinking that, um, or on your recommendations, that it go back into the budget um, and that that be a $20,000 a year item rather than coming and looking for capital for, uh, for the dish maintenance every few years. So, that was for, so for these purposes tonight, as far as what's going to be um, voted on out of capital articles, those last four will be deleted from the warrant. Totally, okay. So I, and how about the? Uh, I don't know if you want to oh, vote. The PCs. I know they were looking at a grant. Possible any update on that? For which? For the IT? Yeah. We for are. We are. Mike and I are doing that grant tomorrow. IT. But you won't know about that for quite a while. For the community. I'm sorry. For the um, compact IT compact grant. So we are writing it, um, but we won't know about that for a little bit. Okay, so it, we're submitting it for next week. So if we approve this tonight with that particular one, and if the grant comes through, then it'll just hang out there. Remind me what your discussion was when you he that was brought up. I think Amy, you suggested that grant, which is a great idea. What was that? What was the thought at that point that you would still submit it as capital? Well, or I I know that Mike's done this before where he's gotten a grant after we've already given him the money and then he's given it back okay so i i would i mean uh if we're just doing the grant now it's not going to be in time so i would in case it's denied or you need the money 
I, I would, he, he's given it back before, so that's how I would suggest to go. So is to move forward on the request, but if you, if you get the money, give it back. Yeah, or we okay. just don't, we just don't borrow it. We wouldn't be borrowing okay. it until the end of this year, if he purchased them this year anyways. The end of just June. Resend it eventually. Uh, yes, they can resend it. Uh, I should mention that uh, while Chris is here, that the both um, chiefs, Mike Spanknable and Mike Mason, are available at by phone if you have any questions on their items. But uh, they both had difficulty in getting here tonight, but um, and felt that it was their items were explained. But they're happy to answer questions. But I, I think that's the way it was left too. That way, it's going to be. Um, you don't even have to vote contingent on it. But he's going to try for the grant. But um, I don't think that it meant taking it off of here since it's a long process. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, I know in your email, you, Linda, you mentioned something that Chris might be looking at decommissioning. In addition, or is yeah. that well, let him. Or are you looking it. at the annual town meeting for that? Well, go ahead, Chris. You're yeah. on. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if you recall, last time when we appeared uh, before the board, uh, that was discussed. We came in initially to the a quota of 407000 to put in new tanks. And in the course of discussion, the chair was also here at that meeting. Uh, different options were raised, and then we were told to take a look at uh, if we have to decommission the tanks we have right now, and probably uh, go out in terms of uh, buying, instead of having our tanks, we we'll buy and we'll purchase with uh, town cards, just as some other entities are doing right now. Yeah. And then also, because of the amount involved, the, the committee said it wasn't in, in the mood to attain such figure. And so that's why we went, uh, we got that around. So we put in uh, two requests for the commission. We thought we'd be able to get some numbers before today's meeting. But we haven't. This afternoon, I also spoke with the town show and I made some calls. But uh, they, have not, they tried to put together a package for us. They sent so that uh, for the commission. So I don't have exact number to present to the committee tonight. But the thinking is, it will be cheaper than the 450,000. And also, I think that will also allow the committee and the select board to now address or give us some directives for where to go. So that's what, so. And, and so it looks like as far as this that's meeting what, is concerned, it's not gonna happen because you don't even have numbers yet. Yeah present to us so probably for the annual meeting yeah one reason oh. we, we pushed him today was we were concerned about if we were to without numbers leave. well yes yeah. we can't go anywhere there's a, Chris you don't have even have a guesstimate of what it would be uh, uh, no yeah no. okay so is an option to uh, so the pumps work during the cold months right yes okay so can we just use what we have in the tanks to get us through, basically use up what we have in the tanks and then just leave them idled for uh, until after spring or annual town meeting and then uh, find a path forward to decommission at that point and then transition to cards in the meantime so that way we don't buy more fuel, put it in the tanks and then have it stuck there and not be able to get it out and have, you know, once the, the vapor lock problem arises during the warm weather, is that, Possibility. Uh, it, it, that's the possibility, Mr. Chairman, but that would require the town to give up to begin the process of the car at this point because of the police vehicles. Because he can, we what we have right now, we cannot guarantee that it will last a month, the time. And so we, so, so it would be difficult to say, okay, after a month before the town begin the process of uh, the car. But if, the, if, the, if we can get that process, going, and then the card may not be utilized until we finish what we have of the bid. Yes. I just would hate to buy fuel and have it stuck in the tanks come from spring, right. and then have to pay to have it disposed of or pumped yeah. out or whatever, um, and then lose more money on it. Throw another <coughs> again. Right. Mm -hmm. how, how often do you fill the tanks, Chris? Uh, we fill the tanks, uh, especially, uh, almost, uh, is, the frequency is more during the winter months. 
So, and then, and so we have some gas, gas, gas what we have right now has been there for a couple of weeks now, about 10. So we have not, we're trying to, we just get a new vendor because of the fiscal year. So we have not uh, made any major purchase yet, but we, we make it very soon. We so is it at month, once a month? Is it I would say about, uh, about, about uh, a non-winter month, <coughs> it's about uh, probably twice a month because of our time. We have a big tank, so we just fill it tank. And then we, we don't allow the time to go too low before we fill again because of the right. labor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or did we sign a contract to purchase a certain amount of fuel for the year already? With the uh, yes, we, the fracker has been approved. Are, are we locked in for that? Yeah. Uh, we are locked in for the for the fiscal year. And now, I don't know if I, I could investigate tomorrow to fracker see if we decide to sell it back. Sell it back. Put back this. Okay. Are we locked in for the price per gallon or the amount that we buy for you? Are we the promising amount, them that we're going to buy a certain amount every year? Yeah, the amount, and also that amount gives us the, the gallon price. So it's both? Yes. But I could, I could, I could, I could, I could cut it over, Mr. Chairman, and get the information. So how many gallons a year, roughly? You know, just 10,000, some, uh, some year, some uh, 10,000, and then sometimes we have we had a very tough winter, we had uh, almost $2,000 oh, yeah, because we, so the police is 24-7, we have uh, DPW trucks, we have fire 24-7, and also, so the school, we have uh, the school, the school buses. 12,000 uh, 12, for diesel and for unleaded? Or? And unleaded is, uh, is a 10,000, so we always ask for, you know, 100, right. yeah, average of and diesel is uh, how much is it? I have like 11,000. And then, <coughs> yeah, so that's like 10,000. Well, it's pretty. I don't know, I still go back to it. It would take 42 years right. to. Uh, but uh, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would get it, I would talk to uh, Frakov tomorrow. Okay. And uh, get my D Diesel is, I was just trying to under write it for the notes. Yeah. Gas is 10,000 gallons? Yes. And diesel is how much? 11,000 11, gallons. So on both of okay. them, what is the request about? <laughs> and that's a year. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Okay, that's helpful. So it looks like, anyway, as far as this ground is concerned, it's off the table. Okay. Uh, that would be. It's not showing up here because I, I forgot that. Uh, going on to the next page was the uh, the one that we had. It's not there. Uh, um, was we had the follow up to this article was repurposing that $30,000 borrowing for repairs to the gas pump, which we were going to redirect initially into replacement, add it to the replacement if that was going to be uh, considered. And then when we started talking about decommissioning, we could also repurpose that mm -hmm. into um, the decommissioning, decommissioning factor. So we already, we're $30,000 into this project one way or another. Um, unless we completely repurpose it into something else. But I would suggest if there's any chance that the 30000 could cover it, that we just, is there? <laughs> it, 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 it will, the, the commissioning is usually, uh, it, it can, it just that, uh, and I think in our case, we might <coughs> be able to cover it. The unknown is what, when the ground is open, if, the, if we have contaminated soil, then it becomes a bigger project. But if not, that can be sealed, and the tank can be left there with concrete for, and. Okay, yeah. so, so, could, it, so it, it could, could be yes. within the 30,000. So is that something we need to redirect or repurpose this meeting, so that way, in case we decide to decommission this spring, we can Well, uh, it, it depends on whether you think anything might change between now and when Select Board of Finance really vote tomorrow night. Because once we pull it off, it's off. If it hangs in there, it could even be pulled at town meeting. But um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if we're. Yeah. If First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to call the vendors just to tell them, listen, we're not asking for a, a, a perfect number. Can you give me some bulk number? Uh, they've done this in the past, so yeah. you know, some, so that that average number range. I can, I can yeah. present to the selling board and to. Yeah. Well, this, this is a new thirty thousand dollars in borrowing, not something that has been borrowed. In the uh, are approved in the past. Uh, uh, two years ago, yeah, we, we voted thirty thousand dollars to repair, yes. and instead, then they said it's really beyond repair. So, yes. okay. 
we have this thirty. We have thirty thousand. But it's already approved. Yes. It's approved by town meeting. It's been borrowed. That's the. That's, the, mm -hmm. that's what's tying me up. <laughs> so then, in, in order to spend it, in order to spend it on decommissioning, do we need to vote at town meeting to repurpose that, or is that yes? Not? Yes, and it can be honestly, it can be repurposed in some other kind of mm -hmm. uh, capital article as well. But and we that's all, It's almost substantially similar, so I don't even know if you have to. We could, a, we could, we could, oh, I see it. You know we what I'm have saying? It by town council, yeah. so that it's related to the same. You may not even have to do a revote. That's a good point. When we, we were really doing the purchase, the it wasn't the same, but decommissioning may be part of repairs. Correct. Oh, good, Paul. I right. like that. Yeah. I'll ask Jeff. Depends on how it's worded, to how specifically it's worded. Which means it doesn't even have to be on town meeting article. Correct. Yes. Okay. Well, that's a good solution. I'll just pull it off completely, and then um, even if there's no not being addressed at town at meeting, it's there. we we still have it to move forward with if it seems appropriate during the year. I feel much better about that in case there's any kind of leak or something. We may have if 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 we we might want to leave it there just in case the rewording needs right. to be done. If it's I'm overly to... specific. Okay. Sometimes yeah. Get locked in. Depends on how it was worded a few years ago when it was passed. It's. Um, I know because I really darked it out. I'm sorry. It's all right. Got a little too See fancy. See the town vote to repurpose Article Five of the November Seventh, Two Thousand Nineteen Special Town Meeting, which was thirty thousand dollars borrowed to repair DPW gas pumps, by adding to the amount voted in Article Five of the October Twenty First, Two Thousand Twenty One Special Town Meeting item, for replacing the DPW gas pumps. Huh. Uh, Jeff will tell us. I'll ask Jeff tomorrow. Yeah. That word repair, he might just have to and the other part make it like, broader. I don't want to have deceived DOR. You can run it by bond council. Yeah. And they're, they're actually the people that really uh, bless well, we really Yeah, but we didn't, uh, it never went into a bond, so it's... Uh, but just the, the wording of the original yeah. article, if it would cover this also. Yeah, okay. All right, that's, a, that's something to take on then. So you're, you're just going to take it to bond, not town council? Bond, uh, bond council, probably. I, I could do that. They, they're pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't I, I'll do that and then I'll make that cheaper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, until they realize we're not doing bonds very quickly. Um, okay, okay, so I think that's about it, right on that end. We're looking at these remaining the eight articles and if anyone has any other comments or yeah Mr. Chairman, I um, the ninety thousand dollars for the F three fifty uh, we are good to take out twenty thousand because uh, this afternoon after Tom Delin also I, I I got to a vendor um we are good to take out twenty thousand uh, we took out uh, we have plow and uh, we have some other things that we so we like to make it seventy so ninety thousand. Okay. The Ford F three fifty? Yes. Good. Great. Still coming from water reserves. Borrow from water Borrow and then take from water reserves. From, mm -hmm. Anyone else have any comments on any of the other articles? I thought there was more than one. So there were. In, in my mind, we're taking out the three hundred thousand for the dump truck because that's not going to yes. work with all the other stuff. So yes. can we? We have. Um, but I thought there was another F three fifty or F two fifty or something. Yes, there are, there are two. Yes, there's two. Yes. David, you said we're we taking out three hundred thousand. No, I, uh, yeah. What did you say? We take out the three hundred thousand for what? So the the DPW Highway International seventy six hundred that that's on there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, three hundred was that. Was I, I thought we were. I thought that was in. That's. I did too. This, that's two hundred thousand to be borrowed within the levy, and one hundred thousand to be borrowed for water. How much did I? I think that. The reason why I was confused because I, how much did you tell us we had available to borrow within the levy? Because okay. I thought that's way over. Right. Right. Well, well, it, it is. That's something else that I, I want to. Um, yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to go over that. If you. Um, was that last time? 
Well, it's in, we talked about it and, and yeah. what their priorities, but we don't have enough in that Money. levy. Yes. Okay. I, I thought we only had 300,000. That's all so, I thought we had is 300,000, so we have to figure out what right. the priority is. So go to your, um, go to your second page. Okay. And that's where uh, everything that has been asked for is listed. Yeah. And some things have been pulled out of uh, how we're funding here and put in the far right. Um, they're either gone to, uh, they're being postponed or paid for in some other way. And remind me, I want to revisit ARPA on that, um, Carolyn. Mm -hmm. So um, then you, if, this is useful because then if you go to the, the bottom line, you'll see in each of the categories within the levy, borrowing within sewer, borrowing within water, borrowing within Hadley, uh, within Hadley mm -hmm. Media Reserves, that you'll see what the total is. Mm -hmm. So you'll see with what we have here, and Chris just took out, oh, he took out uh, 20,000 over there, but that's, uh, so that makes water reserves is now 230,000. Um, so that's uh, the police equipment, um, 20, there's a possibility that some of that will be out of grant. So, um, and then the communications equipment, almost 200,000, the roller, 75,000, and two thirds of the uh, larger truck, 200,000, brings us to almost 500,000. So, yes, we were trying to keep it to 350,000. Um, a couple things since then, well, one thing since then, primarily, which is the finance committee has um, a, agreed to, and you'll decide on this at select board tomorrow night, that increasing the debt portion of um, the debt principal, the part that we allocate to within the levy, they agree to that they want to increase that by fifty thousand dollars. So what that what that practically does is actually give us an extra hundred because that fifty thousand is this year's budget for things which we borrowed in twenty one. And so then we're going to have that extra that fifty thousand. If assuming we continue it, it'll be in the twenty three budget too. So we have, so that has given us um, a fifty thousand uh, dollar leeway this year that wasn't planned. So we're bringing some of that debt what we would be playing, paying over the next few years. We're bringing that forward, and then we're planning on an extra fifty thousand for next year. So, and and fifty thousand for the year after that. Everything's kind of pulling forward and gives us so much more room that I was, um, I'm really comfortable in that sense of going up the full 50,000. Um, there's always the, um, we do it for higher than, the $350,000 is on, on payments and um, the borrowing doesn't happen right away. I've, I've really been, I've just been trying to look at how this lays out in the next few years. Um, some of this might not happen, so the 494 that we have there, let's say he gets the grant, let's say the truck isn't so much, it can easily come down to be 460, 470. That puts us over what we're looking for this year. I did look over the last couple of years um, to see how we were doing. Last year, we only voted an extra 200,000 to be borrowed within the levy. So we have actually have a little bit of a, a balance there from last year. The year before, we did 332,000 to be borrowed within the levy. And those are just the approval amounts. We actually borrowed less than each of those in each of those years. Right. So we have a little bit more flexibility that you know, we can grab it all right now or you can save some of it for the spring. But it is, it's possible to, to go ahead and approve these and these are all gross amounts anyway. When we borrow, you're going to have it'll be each debt payment will be substantially less on all these in the aggregate. We only borrow exactly yeah, even what if we it's pay. It's a five-year loan, even it'd be only be twenty percent of this amount. That's that's right. And the way uh, by adding the extra fifty thousand this year, uh, the first time that we would begin paying for what we're borrowing tonight is in two years. It's going to hit us in twenty-four, but until then, we're filling up what we voted. And after that, we begin to have room for another couple hundred thousand dollars each year. So, um, and how much is getting freed up and paid off capacity this year? Uh, or not just, well, yeah, we don't we, yeah. anticipate it for next year. Like we've kind of been, we've cut back the last, all, the whole COVID. We've had three, three meetings in a row without borrowing mm -hmm. at all. And so that's made a difference. Um, that's what I was looking for. Um, so the borrowing within the levy, 
if we go from if we make the jump from uh, 280 to 330 this includes bond payments and that's why I guess why I increase it up to 350 to 400 we really really do end up not borrowing as much as we vote for so I don't want to be I, I don't want to recommend something that's too conservative, knowing that we could be fitting in another sixty thousand dollar truck and having it have been okay. Um, so it's it's a matter of uh, your committee deciding how how important these are, and if you want to sort of uh, fill in the past and borrow a little bit into the future, you can do that in any one year. So when there's a cap, when I say a cap is like three hundred fifty thousand dollars, that's an average. That's an average. If we take last year, this year, and next year, and average it, we shouldn't go beyond that. Otherwise, our payments are going to be due on what we're borrowing, not not just in two years, but then in three years, and then in four years. There's a possibility we'll be able to increase that amount again by another fifty thousand. Yes, next year, if this turns out to be a good well, capital plan. So if we did nothing at all, how much would the uh, within levy of the debt Do capacity decrease by? I don't know if I'm making any sense. I, I'm not ex understanding it that you know, way. The outstanding debt would go down by X number of dollars oh, if um, we did nothing at all. If we didn't borrow anything new? Correct. If we didn't borrow, no, oh, if we didn't borrow anything new, uh, we would run out of borrowing within the levy um, in um, in 24. We'd run out. And so they would have that extra amount How much would the decrease by from the previous fiscal year, you know, the dollar amount? Well, they're all in bands. So I can, I pay up to the maximum. I'm, I'm, I'm not being frustrating in my answers, but um, I think of it as, so the total that's outstanding now is probably uh, in bands, what's outstanding is well, how about, about six hundred, six to 700,000. Or how about long-term debt? That's long-term debt's in the bonds. Not outside of two and a half, though. Mm -hmm. Within two and a half. Right. Um, that's going to drop. In fact, it's already dropped. The only amounts that we're paying within, we're only paying about ninety thousand within the levy each year on our bonds. And it'll go down by. It's it's gone down and dropped to that because we have a few things that are going to hang in there for a while. So uh, it's going down from it's going from ninety to eighty eighty nine, and twenty four it's going down to sixty nine five. And then for some reason in 25, it's back up to 73. Uh, that's okay. just the way they set up the bond schedules. But so. So about 20,000, $21,000. It's dropping about, yeah, over the, next, over the next few years. And we don't have anything new within the levy going into bonds. So all of the, within the levy borrowing is gonna be within short-term borrowing that we have better control over. Yeah, I wish, you know, I wish I, we could redo some of this, but they've been hanging in there a long time. Right, right. Um, Going forward, we're trying to keep only the buildings and long-term things, uh, debt exclusions in in bond borrowing, and the rest within it. So. And so we have enough of capacity. So to the total. Let's see. In in bands this year, we're paying off. Um, we were otherwise paying off one hundred eighty-five thousand in bands this year. I increased that by the fifty. Um, but otherwise, it would have been one eighty-five, one eighty-five, one eighty-five into twenty-four. And then done, but I'm able then to pull forward fifty, pull hey, forward fifty, and we'll be, we're done uh, a whole two years earlier or a whole year earlier. Okay. So, so then we have more we can put in. Just over two hundred thousand with the twenty-one thousand from the long term, and then the one eighty-five. We're kind of we're reducing our debt by about two hundred thousand a year. Uh yes. Excluding and the, outside of. Yes. And and yes. Half. Yes, and, and the borrowing, the strategy of the borrowing within the borrowing within the <laughs> levy through the bands, the strategy is that we borrow what we're paying. Okay. So, um, so I guess that's why I, I don't think of it as reduction as long as we keep going. You know that that we're right. we're filling that in. You know, if we pay off whatever's paid off, then we replace it. Yes. With new issues. Yes. But we're not increasing our debt. And, and we're no we're near the five. What what used to be the have have to pay a band within five years, and then it became ten. Right. We're nowhere near that. We're we're paying them off Much within sooner. within yes yeah, within yeah. usually within three or four years. So if we choose to to expand it a bit, um, we're not going to pay more each year. But you can see that we were pushing it out further. Right. And 
we're filling we're filling in our future borrowing. We're, we're borrowing from our future borrowing. We're not able to borrow so we're not able to vote so much if we're pushing this debt out further. Except things can happen, such as we decide we put more money into that, mm -hmm. or, the, or the town goes another route and actually comes up with a capital uh, stabilization fund or something and funds uh, goes another way. So a little bit of kicking it down the road says, well, we'll, we'll deal with that later, but we don't want to do too much of that. Right. So that's why I always try to be cautious, but when you come down to really some hard choices and knowing we're not going to be due debt exclusion, um, I, don't wanna, I don't want you to feel I've overtied your hands. You do have some flexibility there. I mean, I think you, you got it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And so we have yeah. enough of capacity to absorb everything that's on this list. We could, uh, yes. But I would not recommend borrowing, uh, doing five hundred thousand dollars worth of new items every year, Correct. because that will will get behind her, behind her. So, uh, without tying our hands for future years, I guess what's our is our limit three fifty without having to. Um, oh, to keep it absolutely there. Right. Um, okay, so if if we keep it where it is. We're looking at um, an absolute amount of about three hundred thousand. But given this flexibility, if we never borrow everything right. that we vote, right. that's why I say three fifty. Okay. And then with the fifty thousand, if we vote that more, then we're at what I say three three fifty. Oh, they were oh, three fifty four hundred. Yeah. And, and clearly, three fifty is a gross amount of the projects to not the debts. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Correct. But on, on that again, on the theory that we're replacing what we pay, mm -hmm. doing a direct replacement and keeping ourselves a couple of years out along the way, and just, it's worked. Yeah, I just get nervous with uh, tying our hands too far in advance. Or I yeah. guess that's all because stuff always comes, <laughs> comes up like gas pumps. Contingencies. Yeah. yeah, there's. It seems like there's a lot of emergencies that keep coming up, like when, um, you know, the items that we had in North Hadley and Mount Warner things that are unexpected, you know, there's there's been a lot of unexpected. I hate to max it out too there, quickly. There will be more. There will be more oh, things yeah. unexpected. It, it happens base. all the time. Yeah, and so, exactly. Yeah. So, so that's why I was asked, that's why I was saying about the truck, I thought we were at a hard limit of 300 or 350 or whatever it was. So that's yeah. why I was saying, you know, eliminate the, the dump yeah. truck and that way we could do most of these other things and stay within that 300, 350 yeah. that we were trying to do. So that's, yeah. that's why I That's was totally your call. Okay. I yeah. Didn't. Could you add the other truck? That's an interesting thought. I was actually thinking that too. Could you well, add, here's the other I think thing there is two, two, two trucks at sixty. Yeah, I, and so. I get the puzzle what you're going for there. But when I listened to the DPW, it sounded like when I asked their priorities, like I know we could remove the equipment from police because they said that they could wait on that. <coughs> right. They, not not the. Um, the the 20, not the fire, but the, the, the computers, the right. 20. They did, I forgot that, yeah. They said they could wait on that. The The dump truck, I thought, was the number one priority at the DPW. That, I thought that was their first. I thought it was the roller. No, the roller was the, the roller. roller's the first. Yeah, the roller. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood. I was thinking okay. it was the other yeah. way around. No, the okay. That's why I want to know what your priorities were, yeah. which you could wait on. <coughs> well, I guess then if... The roller is the priority, then let the other one wait, and then we could add something else, yeah. Because we could wait on the, on the, uh, on the equipment, too, for the, the police. And they're looking at a grant anyway. Well, uh, yeah, and I'm, the, the grant, I thought, yeah, on, on IT there is grant, so who knows what, it, maybe, it's <coughs> more. maybe it's not just the, who knows what will be covered. We're doing a combined, we're putting in, I put a blast out to all the departments to see what their needs were for IT, so we are bringing a little bit from um, town. <coughs> we're, it's, we're a year ahead with replacing computers, Yeah. but by the time we got this, we would be on schedule. So yeah. we're adding that. Um, I, I'm, Annie's, Annie is submitting some information, but she does not want to, so it's, we have a $200,000 limit. So we reached out to Annie as well, but Annie's oh. not going to submit anything if it's going to put, exceed the amount that we can request. Yeah, she's very aware um, that this is what we're we're looking for with the town side department. Okay. So. All right. So can I? Sorry, I yeah. got one more question on the on the trucks. Um, I see one 
F550 listed underwater for 90,000, which Chris, you said has dropped to 70,000, is that correct? Yes, I said because okay. we want to make it 1050 instead of and, 5,000. But, uh, <coughs> and then we also requested another truck, another 350. And how much is that one? That, that, uh, that is 60,000. Okay. Yes. So... so 60,000? Yes. So theoretically, if we crossed off the dump truck, we could get that truck, the grant, the public safety equipment, and the roller, and still be pretty close to our 350000 and then maybe not even hit that if we got an IT grant, you know, because we wouldn't spend the 20000 for the police computers. Mm -hmm. kind of Where's the 60 coming from? Is that coming from water? That's, that's, that's highway. Highway, yes. Right. It was on this? I just don't remember seeing it. It was on the first, I think by the time he left last, oh, did I? I think it dropped on something. Did I drop it Did I? Yes. Oh, I should have put it on as a, and I'll put it up. I should have put it on as a postponed, or maybe I just moved it into 23. I shouldn't have done that, sorry. Okay, yeah, it should have been on there. Okay. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this should have shown up as postponed in the far column. But if you want to bring that in, that's that's three hundred and fifty. Yes. Is it a replacement? What is it? Why I, I don't remember it's, why it's, we need another. It's a replacement. Is but it's a replacement F five fifty, which is two thousand and one. That is is uh, no. It's just the transmission is, has given away, and so we because of uh, it was for us to be able to sell um, get. 350 we still do our what we anticipate to do. It can it is gonna be a 12 a 12 month truck, it can handle plow, the transmission is feasible. So and then the cost as opposed to ninety thousand, we were able to get it for sixty thousand. So you can do all the same things that you did with the five fifty. Yes. That's old and that was a two thousand one? Two thousand one, yes. F five fifty. And two thousand and eight. Those are those are the two we're asking for. This one was a 2008, the 70,000. Yes, yes. And was that a five fit, uh, that was a 350? Yes, we, that we was are, a 350? We're asking for 350 with a, a cap, and then um, we can get that for 70,000. 70. Yes, that's, and then um, the, one, the one for the highway is uh, 60,000. We also have, we have a 12, we have, we, we don't have, if we, so that's what we ask him. Okay. It's also an F three fifty. Yes. So the, the so it's sixty instead of seventy. Yes. Yeah. Sixty. So the highway department wants a truck for the F three fifty for sixty thousand. It was a two thousand one. You're replacing the five fifty because yes. it's bad transmission. Yes. Otherwise, we'll be asking for ninety thousand. That's okay. I'm just trying to make yes. sure I right. understand. Yes. The one that's the going to the water. Is that is replacing which truck? 2008. 2008. Yes. Is that, what kind of truck was it? There was an F550. There was also an F550? Yes. Okay, and you're gonna, and that's just, what's and wrong that, with that? that? That truck actually originated from highway, but uh, water is, it, we, then it was transferred to water, to, but right now it's no longer feasible. It's not like a move. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, we put in a lot of money and it's not, the guy won't use the plow. So it doesn't help. The, the, the truck's just bad? Yes. Okay, it's just not working. All right. So, I'll so that one wasn't even on the original sheet then? Is that what? No, initially we were, it was in the I first guess one. I took, I. Then we moved it, we moved then, uh, yeah. I started asking for two. One was moved. It, it, it was, I, I yes. got confused. So there were two but the same. That time we were focusing on the 300,000. So I'll let the bankers check my numbers, but I came up with three hundred fifty-four thousand nine hundred fifty-four dollars if we add in the sixty thousand for that F three fifty and remove the two hundred thousand that's in within the levy for the dump truck. Three fifty-four nine fifty-four. Okay. Correct. Okay. Three fifty-four nine fifty-four. And so, if I can just double check, so that includes the sixty thousand for that truck. It includes three hundred. No, it includes two hundred thousand. 
right? No, or, that's, that's taken out. Oh, the, that's taken out. That we're taking that out. Yeah, that's, that's out. It includes the 199? Yes. It includes the 75,000? Yes. And any, what, what else? Anything else? And the 20,300. The 20,300 is in there? Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You got the two trucks, right? In there? I got two trucks. Yeah, because yeah. one's coming one for water. 60. Water's one's from water, though. Oh, that's right. Yep. One's from one's from one sixty. Okay, and they're both. Do we want to put the, the, the twenty thousand three hundred in? If there ends up, that's the one that they said they could wait, and if there is a grant on that, or well, if they're like gonna, we discussed or, earlier, like we they can always give it back. It I would just assume it in, and then if we get the grant, they don't spend it. They don't spend back. it. Yeah. Okay, just, so we put it. Send it. Okay. All right. So I have in that one, two, three. Four. Four. Four things. Yep. Yeah. Yep. One, two, three, four things. Okay. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I was thinking about. You know, I mean. I, that's fine. I, I think that's fine. It seems to work for, I mean, the biggest thing was working, how we were going to manage the highway. Yes. So that seems to work. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Well, so Chris, what happens if this is, Big truck is removed. You're going to be back again, right, next year, asking for it. I would think. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, we we I anticipate it's coming back again, uh, but at the same time, um, I'm grateful for what we these uh, trucks that uh, they help us. Um, we still, if if by next year things are not stable. So far, we, uh, we we can fix it and see if we can get a year or two out of, out of it. Yes. Okay. Rick, any other comments about any of the other proposals? So then, just to recap, or if you want to recap it, Amy, we got the seventy-five we're looking at. So DPW has 75 for the roller, 60 for the F-350. Mm -hmm. Public safety has 20,300 and then 199,654. A total of five or 3,500, I'm sorry, 300. sorry, 354,000. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 354. 354,954, right? Yes. The, the other 70,000 is going to, that we talked about for the truck is for the water. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. And this is all within. Yeah. All within the 354, 954 is within the levy. 130,000 is still with sewer. The water has dropped to 230,000 because of the change from 90 to 70. And Hadley Media, Hadley Media Reserves is still 15,000. There's just not going to be borrowed. That's going to be a direct transfer. So, Linda, if we go with this amount here, and so we're not kind of stretching our, our, our amount going forward, would that give us more? We can still have more more room to work with in this in the spring, right? Because we're, we're still going to keep paying that additional those additional debt payments. We're just not going to start spending them now, right? Is that right? Okay. Um, yes. These these are not. Yes, I'm glad you raised that. These these are not meeting thresholds that I talk about. It's fiscal year thresholds. So if you go to a meeting and you spend everything there, um, again, if we over commit in that area, it just means we're spreading it out. But right. But to, to, to have be on a true, um, what we're paying off and replacing it, this is the right area to be, is 350000 for the year. Right. Now, as far as whether we have flexibility going forward, um, we, have, we will have flexibility in the sense that we could have done another 50 to 150 on this and just went like this and, 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 um, and pushed it out and maybe something else wasn't going to come through or the trucks came in 10000 less or they got the grant and other things like that. Um, and other other things that might change as in, as in free cash or uh, 
the budget to fund the principal going forward and, and other things. So yeah, that's a long answer to your question, which was, do we have flexibility for the spring? Yes. Right. <laughs> the, the, the reason I'm concerned is because if that dump truck dies over the winter, mm -hmm. then maybe we need to buy, you know use that flexibility to, hey, we have to replace this now come spring, but maybe maybe it lasts another couple, couple of years. I don't, I don't know. So I just. Yeah, and we don't know uh, what the appetite's going to be for debt exclusions in the spring um, because I really haven't spent any time going through and showing how that's going to come down because it's really just not been on the table. But we'll have better uh, presentation of that in the spring of how we're looking for debt going forward. Okay, so I want to, so I have the what's all borrowed within the levy. I just want to double check on this sheet to make sure I understand the rest of it. DPW water hydrant valve replacement for 60,000? Yes. That's, are we, Linda, are we borrowing or is it water reserves? Um, at this, at this point, I'm suggesting borrowing and, well, it's borrowing to be paid, it's from, both. It's, it's borrowed to be paid from the water right, reserves. Right, okay, but it's borrowing reason. and it's paid out of water. Correct, right? correct. But it's borrowing. Yeah, I mean, we technically have the funds in water not so much in a sewer, do we have that kind of flexibility, but um, interest okay. rates are low and we don't know what other okay. needs they're gonna be, so. So the highway truck, the F-350, uh, that's 70,000, and the same thing goes with that, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna yes. borrow out of the water. The the pipelining and repairs, that's 130, borrow out of sewer? Yes, yes. That, those are accurate. That's right. Still. Yes. And Hadley Media is just taking out of reserves. Yes. And that's, that's everything. Mm -hmm. That's everything. So I guess maybe do we need a motion? I think we're ready. For a motion? Any, unless there's any other further discussion. Oh. No, no, no. I'll entertain a motion. And also, before we do that, uh, do you want to vote these as a, like an omnibus group or one at a time? Suggestions from the members? I'm okay with voting them all at once. Yeah. You know, but for, for submission when I'm borrowing, uh, could we do it with the categories? Yeah, for like so much within the levy and then the water and, and the sewer. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know if it really is. It's like okay. an omnibus. I'll, I'll, follow, I'll follow Paul. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I will entertain a motion. Yep. Motion. Do, it. do you want me to read them out for the thing or, or do we? Okay. All right, I'll make a motion that we approve $20,300 within the levy to replace PCs and related equipment for the police department. Uh, $199,654 for public safety communications equipment within the levy. Uh, $75,000 for the highway drum asphalt roller within the levy for the DPW. Uh, 60,000 within the levy for an F-350 for the DPW. I think that's it for within the levy. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, also 130,000 from sewer reserves for pipelining and repairs. Um, 100, no, oh, sorry. Oh. 70,000 from water Enterprise fund for an F-350 for the DPW. $60,000 from the water enterprise fund for water hydrant valve replacement. Uh, let's see, $15,000, which will be a direct transfer for Hadley Media equipment. And then that's it? That's all, right? I second. Okay, any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, the motion passes. Don't adjourn. We oh. have, do not adjourn. Do not adjourn. I gotta stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have the, the ARPA funding of the trailers? Any other business? Yes, please. So you want me to? So, I'm sure you've all heard of ARPA, the American Rescue mm -hmm. Plan. So we have, we know how much we're getting. 
We know we have till 2024 to spend it. How much are we getting? Uh, about one, well, 1.58 1. 1. or something. Quote, yeah. High 1. of 1. 5. Over one and a half million. We have half of it now. Uh, so we're still getting a lot of guidance from the state. Everybody is on how to spend it. But one of the conversations that came up in our in-house finance team today, which is Dan, Susan, Linda, and myself, was we don't know yet with the ARP, I'm sorry, ARP, so I'm in the senior <laughs> center. Um, ARPA needs to be appropriated at town meeting. We saw some documents that said yes and some that said no. So the reason I'm bringing that up is uh, if you've been following either finance or the select board, the, the trailers at the DPW are um, very old. Um, and 30 years, would you say? Is yes. it about 30 years that they were supposed to be temporary? Right. So there's there's actually three trailers. Chris, correct me at any point if I'm wrong. One's used as a break room, which is in extremely poor condition. Um, infest, it just, just not in good shape. And the other two, just because of the extreme moisture that we got this summer, it is, it's really apparent that it's not a good environment for the employees. So this, I did, present that to the um, select board to say, can we move forward to look at replacing those trailers um, initially with the ARPA money. But the more we discussed it today, and, and I, I haven't even spoken with you yet, Dave, about this, is we're just, we're trying to find out um, whether ARPA money has to be appropriated. We'll have, hopefully have some more guidance by tomorrow, but I felt it was important, we all did, that because it was a capital expense, we needed to bring that to the capital committee. Um, to either, to, to really discuss right now, not as far as getting it, because I think we don't have a choice, we really need to get those replaced temporarily. It will hold off, you know, down the road, it, it, that has been on discussion about getting it, replacing a DPW in, you know, the buildings and using real structures versus trailers, but this would help alleviate that, why we continue a feasibility study on how to address the DPW buildings. So we really need to, to bring that to get some temporary new buildings, new structures in there just for the environment for the employees. So we just wanted to bring that up because I think we need to have your um, input as far as how we would like to fund it would be ARPA. That's the most sensible thing um, is to look at ARPA money to fund that building. We're looking at roughly, I would say hundred, hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars to replace those trailers, get rid of the old ones, bring in the plumbing, bring in the electrical, and all of that parts, all of, all of that to it. So um, I think where we left it today was we wanted to bring it up to you guys to, to you know, for your discussion. And if we had to look at whether this needed to go on a town warrant, a, a town meeting warrant, if we could get it in, if we have to, and we'll hopefully by legal, will give us some guidance by tomorrow, whether that's something that we would put on the warrant for tomorrow, and then your discussion about how you your input on that. It's it's not a last minute item. We've had it on the list there, right. and it's in the far column. Right. Is don't worry, we're paying for that out of ARPA. But it really just came up today. Of if it, if the ruling is we don't have to appropriate, then I don't think it's an issue with us at all. But if we do, then probably it should come before us, even though it's not affecting the tax rate at all. No, you know, it's ARPA funds. It's right, it's going to come out of ARPA either way. Right. And it's a very, I and mean, really. And that's going it's a I think it is a capital it's expense. It's more so, I'm not even looking at, yeah, the funding part of it, it's more, it's a capital. It's part of the plan. It's, we've added it to the plan. And I think it's important that you guys have buy-in on that. Mm -hmm. So no is that something time. that we could talk about and vote on tonight? Tonight. And then if it's not needed, we just. Almost like just a string card. That's, that's, that's what we were hoping for. <laughs> I'll just add, as Brett, I'll just add a line on here and say ARPA funding. And even even if we don't, I think it's in good transparency. It is sure. to do it. So that yeah. may be a decision as well. Especially if we do have to appropriate, then maybe it would have to go through us, even though mm -hmm. it's not effective. It's a capital item, and according to the bylaw, we're supposed yeah. to that's weigh in on it. That's something we would do this winter, right? 
possibly. Yeah, that's our goal is to get it in there. So we kind of don't want to wait months. till yeah, we, spring we, meeting. If we, we had, had to wait till spring. We've had discussions nervous. already about this, so I think we are all, we're all pretty mm -hmm. well versed right. on it, and, and maybe we can just a vote take a simple support. vote. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Can we bump it to 150 just in case a little, little room in there in case we don't, so we can finish the project? And since it's coming out of ARPA versus tax money, I, I, I would hate to run short and then be Sh um, back again. Is that is that a possibility? Yeah, I'm wondering that? should we do 175 knowing that I'm going to go for as cheap as 200. Possible? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to have to come yeah, back. Only once. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so one well yeah I just don't want I want to be able to get I, I agree with you right. so. I, yeah 150 we're looking at 75 we go 150 or 175 so that's 175 doesn't mean we're going to spend it yeah I just want to make sure we don't have to come back again to right. ask for and for everyone watching it's not coming out of taxes it's out of ARPA funds so. <laughs> <laughs> okay do we have a motion to approve the spending of one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for the purchase of trailers to come out of our our funds. Second. So you made a motion. Yep. Okay. okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none. I'll call for a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay. The motion passes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.